The next thing we want to do is to uh, get the data from uh, the database and uh, and uh, by running the our page we will list out the names in JSON format. Uh, what we need is we need to be able to see which the URL that is sent in to the request we need to be able to see which URL it is so we can uh, determine which command uh, the system is, is using so then we, uh, we just uh, require the URL URL package from node to get the documentation about that you can just click on the node page and there go to URL and there you can see that we which uh, commands the URL package include and one of them is URL parse so that we will use so and uh, here we come into the function the request has come in and we will now check the URL object by um, saying parse of the request URL and then we can uh, log that out to the console just to see what it includes. And then we save, go to the terminal and start up the app again, node app.js, and then we go to the browser, on port 3100, and we run our request and then we can see in the console that this is the URL object and we can see that the path name here is names because I added slash names into the request if it is nothing in the request the path becomes just a root uh, so we want a list of the names so we will put in uh, the command names and to detect that here in our application we will just say if um, URL object the path has the index of uh, slash names and if it is so we will send out response and names command and uh, else if it is some other command we will just say uh, other command and pick out the path from the earth object like this and uh, if we try this out in the browser we will have to start up the app again and now we put names then it says other command names so it's just not exactly correct because we need to say here greater than or equal to zero and uh, if we try that we see and it says names command and if we say something else like json we see that it says other command JSON. So now we have our command ready in the node JS app file, and now we want to uh, connect to our database and uh, get the list of names. And the first thing we need to do is to uh, install a package that is called mongo skin it is a package that helps connecting to the to the mongodb database and here we have some uh, tutorials and examples on this uh, hacksparrow.com website and um, to install it, we will issue the command npm, the node package manager, install mongo skin. 
then the package manager goes out to the to the web, gets the Mongo skin uh, package and installs it. And now we can see that we have a node modules directory in our green card directory. And if we look at it, we see that in the node modules we have Mongo skin. That means that uh, now we can use use our database like this. So here I uh, issue a uh, global variable by skipping the var uh, in front of it. So we will uh, have a global uh, variable called db that uh, gets the mongo skin package and connects to the mongo database on our local host and this is a standard mongodb port and this is our collection or our database and uh, save true is a parameter that uh, that uh, allows us to uh, do save insert and updates uh, then we will save this and go out to the command line and see if um, if it uh, runs, it comes up no errors, and here we go in, and uh, we can see that the path comes out, and uh, we have a connection to the database. So to get the names, we can just write uh, db uh, collection names and find this issues the find command to the mongodb and finds all records which is uh, about 90,000 so it's uh, too much so we will just say limit we take out uh, 100 records just uh, for the demo purposes and then this uh, will uh, we will throw the result into an array it takes one function as a parameter and the function has error and result so we can um, when we are here we have uh, connected to the database we have uh, got uh, the collection names and uh, we found all the records in the collection and took out 100 of them and uh, set them into an array that uh, we can now work with. And uh, if we do like this, we can say um, we want to send the result to the browser like this. And uh, now we will try to run the app again, again, and. Uh, we do refresh here. We should uh, see the names if we issue the correct command. And here we see uh, we got an error. And uh, yeah, we will just look at that. And uh, <coughs> when we get the result back from the database, we need to issue this command to to uh, convert the result into a string. So we use uh, the JSON, the built-in JSON uh, <coughs> converter, and we issue the command stringify on the result to be able to print it out to the to the browser. And if we look at uh, the result of this here, to uh, refresh, <coughs> first of all, we, we need to start the app. And then uh, we should be able to get the result. And here we see that we get the ID of the first record, the number, and the, the name. And if we uh, want to take out the ID because we are not using it. We can uh, change the find command. This is the 
the first parameter in the find command is the the conditions that we want to limit our result uh, and we will just leave that empty and then the second parameter is the which uh, uh, properties of the document we want to get back and if we say id is minus one we will skip all the the id in the result so when we look at the result now we will have to say id zero to take out the id and um, <clears throat> then we will see that we only get the number and the name for each uh, document or record in the collection so now we have uh, <coughs> set up our uh, node web server that uh, connects to the mongodb database and gives us the result set of names <coughs>